the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And for this video, we're going to help this noob reach second C using the new Soul Food. Before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when buying your Robux. Okay, so guys, we're gonna start by luring this bandits. Guys, I'm gonna explain you how this book works. So as you can see, we have the Soul Snatcher as our first skill. And as you can see, we have souls, right? So every time you use your Soul Snatcher to defeat enemies, you will get souls. Okay, so as you can see, we have two souls now. Guys, more souls if you use your Soul Snatcher to last hit your enemies check it out you already have eight souls guys we can get a maximum of nine souls okay okay so the goal here is to reach level 10 gamer nom what are the souls used for guys i'm gonna show it to you in the next island so for our next island we have the jungle so here guys we're gonna start with the monkeys again guys here you go so for the souls you just need to click anywhere in the map as long as it is within range to use your souls you can summon three different bodies for example that one guys that one will heal you it is random there are three types of bodies and that one is the damage type so dps everyone's near it see that the monkeys are being damaged go so, and the last one is the tree there you go this will damage and stun your enemy but single damage only for every stun or root that it does so there you go so guys i hope that you understand by finishing two quests here, you will reach level 17 again. There you go, we have 9 souls. What levels 15 or 17, we are now going to start with the gorillas. So how do you defeat them? Just lure for the time. Go and use your skills. Z skill, if you want, you can use your bodies. So far, my favorite body is the flower because it damages the enemy. Make this one, making it faster for us to grind. See that? Okay. So our goal here is to reach level 20 and after that, Gorilla King. Based on what I'm experiencing right now, the best time to use your souls is when you're fighting bosses. Because there's a stun, there's a heal, there's a damage. Just make sure to gather souls before fighting many bosses. So the goal here is to reach level 30. Go, okay. After that, we are ready to move on to our next island. And that island is called the Pirate Village. So here we're gonna start with the pirates. You need to defeat eight, lure four at a time. You need to do it this twice to level up. Guys, again, summon your souls. There you go. If you get at least two <laughs> flowers, and you're lucky. You can defeat your mobs fast. Again, do this twice to level up. The goal here is to reach level 40. Again, level 40. And when you do that, you can now move on to your next mob target, the Brutes. Not compared to the Pirates, you need to defeat 10 Brutes and they're located here. You need to lure 5 at a time. Yes. So that you need just need to do this twice to level up. There you go again. Always praying for those flowers to come up again because this is random, right? Your bodies will come up randomly. There you go. Pretty easy. The goal here is to reach level 60, guys. But at level 55, we can start defeating Bobby, the mini boss in this island. Guys, just a tip make sure to at least have three to five souls before fighting a mini boss. Okay. There you go. We're just gonna defeat this. Again, at level 60, we can now move on to our next island, the desert. So, here, guys, we're gonna start with the desert bandits. So guys, you need to lure four time. One, two, three, and four. Some souls, bodies, and use your soul snatcher. So as you can see, for our next skill, 150 masteries, where we really need to be patient with this fruit. Again, the goal is to reach level 75. And after that, you can now move on to your next target mob or quest, the desert officers, which are located here. I go you just need to lure three at a time but for me four why i need mastery guys need to defeat lots of mobs for more skill masteries the goal here is to reach level 105 and don't worry it is really easy to level up here 
There you go. Okay. So again, goal here is level 105. Stat check. 76 melee defense. 166 blocks fruits. And now you are ready to go to your next island, which is the Frozen Village. Guys, buy all the skills here from the ability teacher in the cave, the Gepo, the Busu, the Soru. We're gonna go straight to the mini boss here, the Yeti. Again, I think this route is basically for PvP and boss fights. So everything will be easy. But I suggest after this, go back to the Snow Bandits. Don't do server hop yet. Because we really want to unlock the other skills. There you go. It's kind of easy. Just lure 5 at a time. 2, 3, 4, and 5. Defeat them. Oh, we missed one. Guys, you need 7 to level up here. Or to finish a quest. There you go. And also, don't forget, if you have a chance to like beat the Yeti, go for it. The goal in this island is to reach level 130. Check that out, crying Yeti. I'm oh, just joking. <laughs> okay, there you go. Stat check before we move to our next island. Melee defense 100, 190 blocks of fruits. So for our next island, the Marine Forest. It's kinda hard here with the petty officers, so I suggest you just stay in this area. Until you reach level 225, guys. 225. Why gamer nom? Are we gonna skip the Sky Bandits and the Dark Masters? Yes. I want you to check this out. I compared the Vice Admiral experience, 350,000, to the Sky Bandits, which only give us 250,000, and also the Dark Master that gives us 350,000. But guys, it really depends to you if you wanna go in the Skylands. But for me, this is the strategy that worked out for me, okay? So again, the goal here is to reach level 200, 25 level up server hop with the vice admirals it's kind of easy to be honest again with this fruit you have heal you have damage you have stun guys that's just the first skill okay okay so when you reach level 225 you will be unlocking two new skills stat check first 150 melee 150 defense 375 lux fruit next island is the coliseum so as you can see, we already have three skills, the Wrath of Ra and the Sky Ruler. So we're gonna start here with the Toga Warriors. You need to lure four, but you need to defeat seven. So four and three or double four to finish a quest for more mastery. So we're gonna use the Wrath of Ra. Oh, it's on the body first. There you go, boom. With this skill, leveling up will be faster, pairing it up with the Soul Snatcher. Guys, I'm telling you, Reaching level 700 will be a breeze, okay? Okay, so again guys, we need to do this twice to level up. The goal here is to reach level 275. Move on to your next target, the gladiators. Okay, so just, let's just finish one quest here with the gladiators and I'm gonna show you another way to level up, but I really am not using that because that strategy, the mobs are so far, there's no save point in that area, so there you go guys, just lure 4 at a time, defeat them, do this twice to finish a quest. So guys, if you're not aware, we have the prison here. So there are 3 mini bosses, the swan guys at 250 you can defeat it, the chief warden at 225, and the warden at 200. Guys, I just showed it to you but I don't suggest it because there's no save point here. So you need to travel and uh, the sky ruler, the flight of this, uh, Fruit is not that good, okay? So go back to the gladiators, reach level 300, stat check, 240 melee defense, 420 blocks fruit, and now we are ready to move on to our next island, the Magma Village. So we're gonna start here with the military soldiers. You need to defeat 9. You can lure 5 at a time, again. You can lure 5 and 4, but I'm gonna do 5 and 5 for more mastery. So lure 5, you can defeat them all here in the bridge summon bodies use wrath of Ra and soul snatcher guys if you try this in other areas if the military soldiers like go so far from their spawn points they will go back there okay so the goal here is to reach level 330 and after that we will move on to our next target mob the military spies here they are, just lure 4 at a time. Guys, they're easier to defeat, but they have Soru, so make sure to dodge that or just summon healing bodies. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 375, but 
at 350 you can start defeating magma admiral the mini boss here again it's really easy <laughs> with help of your bodies now with two uh, damaging skills oops we got hit there but don't worry we have a healing body oh we got the musket refined musket stat check 300 melee 300 defense 528 blast fruits next stop the underwater city guys we're almost there halfway so we're gonna start with the fishman warriors you need to defeat eight we're four at a time one two three and four there we go again use your wrath of raw if you want you can summon buddies or just use your soul snatcher to really defense you the goal here is to reach 450 guys we're gonna skip the fishman commandos but at level 425 you can start defeating this one the fishman lord just dodge the trident guys don't be overconfident check that out i almost died so make sure to dodge the whole time okay so at 450 we can now move on to our next island the skylands we will go step higher and start defeating the god's guards you just need to defeat seven but i'm gonna lure four at a time again for more mastery there you go four defeat them do this twice to level up Guys, the mobs here jump so they won't get stuck. They're easy to lure. That's why I'm gonna stay here until I reach level 525. But before you even reach that level, you will be unlocking one of your new skills. The Outrage Raging. Now we have the Fire. Now we have the Lightning. Electric Mastery 250. Let's try it out. Press C. There you go. Okay, not bad, but... I still prefer Wrath of Raw, but again, more skill damages, faster leveling up. So now we have three skills to damage enemies, so leveling up will be faster. Again, at 525, we are moving on to the next area, the upper yard, but I'm gonna show you the Whisper. Here it is. Just dodge the cannon, guys. Use your bodies, okay? Use your skills. Touch the cannon, use your skills, and everything will be fine. Again, we have a heal, we have a stun, we have DPS, we have 3 skills to damage the enemies. Guys, this fruit is OP, I'm telling you. <laughs> I hope everyone gets it for Christmas. Oh, I sorry, New Year. So, at 525, we're gonna proceed to the Royal Go Squads. Again, if you notice, we skipped the Shandas. I'm gonna go straight to the Royal Squads. We're 5 at a time, or 4. Defeat it twice to level up. Guys, we're, I'm gonna focus here until I reach level 575. Because the Royal Guards, they're hard to defeat. And when you reach level 575, we can now proceed to the mini boss in this island. And that boss is the Thunder God. So I'm gonna use some of my bodies and one full combo of the three skills. Let's check the HP. If you were able to hit it with, uh, guys, I have two bodies, two DPS bodies. The HP of this mini boss is almost half. But again, it will differ because I have two spawn two uh, flower bodies, DPS, right? Anyways, what I did here is I did server hop and then reach level 625. And after that, we can now move on to our final grinding area, the Fountain City. So we're gonna start here with the galley pirates there you go you're four at a time use your bodies use your combos to defeat them wrath of Ra, outrage raging and soul snatcher you will get hit but guys don't worry you have a healing body right okay so the goal here is to reach level 700 yes 700 but at 675 you can start defeating the mini boss in this island cyborg yes cyborg so just dodge his skills guys by this time you're kind of familiar with how to use your skills so just use your bodies use your wrath of raw outrage raging soul snatcher to summon more bodies and for extra damage i think everything will be fine you guys after this or after reaching level 700 you will get a quest and that quest will ask you to go to the prison. But before that, stat check first. There you go, 380 melee defense, 1340 blocks fruit. Now heading to the prison. Talk to the military detective. He will give you a key 
and that key will be used to open a door in the frozen village so once you open the door you will see the ice admiral again defeat him no problem with defeating mini bosses with this fruit after that go back to the military detective and after that he will then ask you to go to the middle town look for the experienced captain and that's it guys you can now go to the second C we haven't unlocked the last skill right so I think I will be making a part of this we will be reaching third C comment it in the comment section if you want but if you want a showcase of all the skills I will put the link in the description I have a video of that so again guys happy new year again to all the viewers subscribers supporters I appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out